BBC. BBC. You're with the BBC. Hello, I'm Mark Coles. You're listening to The Strand. On today's programme, gun art. The Serbian artist who used 20,000 bullets, painting a new version of Picasso's Guernica. Oh, happiness is a warm gun, the former Beatle John Lennon once sang, and screamed to be accurate, and it's certainly true of our next guest. He makes art out of firing ammunition at a canvas, using bullet holes created by an M16 rifle to create images of everyone from Jesus to former US President John F. Kennedy. Serbian-born Viktor Mitic learnt his firearm skills serving with the former Yugoslav army. He now lives in Canada, where his controversial bullet hole art has recently been on show. I caught up with him on the line from Toronto and asked him where the idea to create with a gun came from. I got the idea a couple of years ago, just before the war in Afghanistan started. I watched the news and I saw this militant group destroying the um, big sculpture of Buddha, the 2,000-year-old sculpture of Buddha. After that, the war in Bosnia, in Yugoslavia, former Yugoslavia started, and I've seen images on YouTube where different paramilitary or military groups are walking into churches where they go and use knives with total disrespect for people's um, beliefs. So you decided you'd go and get a gun and uh, do a portrait of Jesus made out of bullet holes? Yeah, I wanted to use similar energy. I mean, the weapon's been around for a number of years, and um, they're there. No, nobody's been using them for to, to paint yet. But I wanted to use it as a tool of creation instead of destruction. Were you not worried some people might find this a tad disrespectful? And some might be horrified. You, you've taken a, a, a sort of iconic religious image and used a gun on it. Yeah, I did receive a lot of emails, negative emails. Most of them said, oh my God, how dare you? Why would you do this? The uh, painting, Whole Jesus, ended up on the front page of Toronto Sun here. And the Toronto Sun people told me that there was an enormous, unprecedented number of phone calls that they received after that painting was published on the front page of, the, of their paper. How easy is it to do this work? I mean, it, painting with a gun? It's very complicated, especially here in Canada. Uh, you have to go and uh, you have to go to the U.S. to do these things. It's illegal here. You, you, you can't do it you in your own studio. No, no. Uh, imagine shooting about 2,000 rounds of ammunition in your studio. Maybe if you shoot one, you'll get away with it. But after 2,000 of them, uh, that's how much usually takes me to create one of the images. But I think the authorities will think there's a little war going on <laughs> in the basement. But presumably you need some skill in the shooting department. Uh, to create a picture of Jesus or Tarantino uh, with a gun takes some precision, presumably. I had training. Uh, when I was a kid, I did uh, mandatory military service of a year in Yugoslav Army. I picked up a couple of skills over there. What next for you now? You've done these portraits of famous people. Where do you take your, um, your gun paintings next? Actually, yesterday morning, I was uh, in the U.S. getting ready to start shooting on a composition, on a painting based on a composition by Picasso. The Guernica is done exactly the same size. That's a massive work of art, Guernica. How many, yeah. how many bullets do you need to do a Picasso? Uh, that was about 20,000 20, rounds of ammunition. I used... Uh, AR-15s, uh, there's uh, other semi-automatic uh, rifles, M14, M1A, different handguns. When I got tired from using uh, a rifle, I was forced to use a pistol, semi-automatic pistols, 9mm ca uh, caliber, 45s, you name it. I don't remember what I shot yesterday, but it was a lot of shooting. Is there anything left of the canvas? I mean, once you've shot 20,000 bullets into it? Oh, you'll be surprised. I mean, that's, those are the tiny holes. A little round is maybe, what, a quarter of an inch. So there's a lot of uh, canvas left. There will be some people who, who will look at your work and say, actually, you're actually glorifying the gun rather than, than criticizing it or using a gun to show you can be constructive. What do you say to people like that? Well, they, they can say whatever they want. I mean, they, this, is, uh, this is what I do. I create paintings with weapons. Weapons are here. They're, you cannot ignore them. People feel uneasy when they're around them, but they're used every day. Every day there's a little war in any country, or, or in a lot of countries on, on Earth right now. There's a lot of war. And ignoring the fact that they're there is not going to help anybody be more peaceful. I mean, this is one of the ways of showing the guns are right here, right now. 
Gun artist Victor Mittich. Incidentally, he also does paintings made out of screws, including a portrait of the Canadian Prime Minister, which he called Screw Harper.